Hello and welcome to Axes and Allies. Now, <laughs> you might be thinking, what is this game? Well, if you look in the bottom left, this game is in 2004, which is basically about 10 years ago. Um, that's why in this screen the graphics are horrible and it looks pretty pixelated. Uh, basically, there's um, the title kind of gives it away. It gets about World War II. Here you see the Russians. Here's the British. We've already seen the Americans and the Germans and the Japanese. Um, this game is kind of my childhood. Here's the Americans again. Um, just the music and the way this game is meant to be played. Uh, it's a... Some people might know X and Allies from the board game. It's also apparently a board game like Risk. I've never played it myself. I would love to play it actually. It has, sounds very promising. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, no, this is uh, this is X and Allies, and there is two modes in, in this game. There is World War Two mode, which basically means oh, I'm not going to play the tutorial. No. I can't. I can't show because I just, just installed this game uh, on my new computer. But World War II is basically the RTS version. Uh, it's like if you ever played Risk on a, on a PC, it just comes down to like playing Risk. But as soon as you want to conquer a country, you have to like send your units into the country. And at the end of your turn, you have to fight the battle on that map in real time. So it goes from a um, turn-based strategy game, it turns into an RTS like Command and Conquer or even Men of War, where you have to build a base, buy, build units, you know, attack the enemy, destroy their base, destroy all the units, and then when you've done that, you win that, um, that country or that like territory on the map. Um, I might give that a try soon when <laughs> I have played the tutorial because <laughs> I can't click and cancel um, right now I was hoping no no tutorial I was hoping to show you guys the first mission in the access campaign um, if this gets lots of love on the channel I'll play more because this is basically my childhood and uh, a, v a video I mean a mission could take up to about an hour and a half if you play conservatively which is my style and style of play. I'd rather build up like one giant forest and then make one big push instead of making little pushes which don't result in immediate victory. So I would just pimp slap the mic right there. Hopefully that is not too loud. So let's go on. Uh, the cinematics in this game, of course, are about 10 years old. So please don't expect too much. I actually kind of like them. So uh, here we go. Also, before I go, I should mention that this game is quite awesome in the fact that... Um, you can play as the Germans and as the Japanese, but also as the Americans, the Brits, and the Russians. But the thing is, if you play the German and the Japanese campaign, it's going to go in some sort of alternate history, where in the end you'll be fighting Operation Sea Lion, which is the German invasion of Great Britain. You'll be fighting uh, for Hawaii as the Japanese. Um, there's all kinds of like, alternate histories where Moscow is going to be captured by the Germans, and Britain is captured by the Germans, and where... Uh, and the ending cinematic, basically, you kind of attack New York. It's kind of, it's 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 a great game. And I hope you guys uh, kind of enjoy my my childhood enthusiasm. Uh, I don't want to. Okay, I'll just uh, play it's okay. There we go. Personally, I'm actually surprised that this game supports 1920 by 1080p resolution. But um, I'm happy it does, because this looks like so old. <laughs> Renault FT-17s. Those are definitely Panzer Freeze. The music in this game is very important to me it's basically just determined my childhood for quite a big well i mean childhood was 10 years ago i mean i was about 10 11 when i played this game weird thing about me when i decided to buy this game like back then like there wasn't i think i don't really think i had like access internet back then so i just you know 
kind of read like newspaper articles and like game magazines and they said this game was quite awesome and since it was World War II I figured well this is going to be awesome. So what I did, I bought the game, but the decisive factor in buying a game for me, <laughs> the decisive game for me for playing the game was, uh, buying the game was actually, um, <laughs> this sounds so dumb. The decisive fact of me bu buying the game was the cover art, which showed. Uh, I'll, pr I'll be able to. I'll probably be able to get a picture of that, and I'll put it in the description via a link. Cause this the, the the cover art made me buy the game, which is, is very successful. If the cover art gets you gets you to buy a game, the cover art was really successful. I love his German accent. Destroy the English bases, driving them from By the way, this is on the highest war. graphic levels. Don't expect. I mean, this game is quite interesting. Don't expect too much from it though, but I think uh, it's going to work out just great. So, as you can see here, we got some paratroopers and they dropped in on uh, Crete, I believe. Now, I could cheat my way and win this, but I'm not going to be too, too sad and do that. So, I'm going to, you know, link them to an HQ. Which means that if I do that, I will be able to resupply them when. Uh, let's see, run away. Okay, so basically, these are two headquarters. You ha you can only build as many units as you have headquarters. Uh, I mean, as you have headquarters slots. You can build more, but the thing is, you want them to be linked to a headquarters. You want them to have this emblem because the emblem means that um, if they're in a sub in supply range, which is something that you'll you'll see later. What it is, um, it just means that you can. Let me just buy more of these. It just means that you can um, resupply them. Like right now, this this squad is pretty much dead. If I if they were to be if they were like able to go into the green zone of supply, it would mean they would get. Uh, just place this here. That would mean that I would be able to resupply their squads back to full strength. So. Right now, I'm just uh, going to build some upgrade buildings, which is basically, you know, the motor pool and some random stuff. So I can give my pet trooper some upgrades. And after that's done, let me just put this way back there. I'm going to start upgrading my headquarters. So let's see, we want to more have more morale. Uh, yeah, we'll just upgrade all of these, actually. Uh, is that a smart idea? Probably a smart idea in the end. Okay, so right now we have to just make sure that we secure the airfield. So we're going to attack the pillbox. These are just triple A guns. They, they won't fire you until, of course, you are flying over our aircraft. So these bunkers, not hard to take out. Meanwhile, you can see I have MP40s. Um, and I think there's also like a machine gunner guy. No, well, there's M MP40s. These guys with um, grenades. These are the normal air for airborne squad. There's also the heavy airborne squad, which comes with like a heavy machine gun, I believe. And, um, ooh, I want those. And stuff like uh, mortars, which is really interesting. Now we're going to upgrade these two first because that's really important to get more oil. Um, uh, I would like that to just be upgraded, I guess. I'm going to upgrade everything because I'm, you know, I'm pretty rich right now. Um, okay, so in the left side, this is kind of the experience bar. Um, as you can see, this will cost 400 points. I could also uh, not do that and just drop a temporary zone of supply right here, which I'm going to do right now. Which basically means that I can have my paratroopers resupply back here. So I'm going to just run these back with the run command. Even though I could have killed the bunker, I just want them to be fully, you know, uh, resupplied. They're all linked to one group. This, this one is already actually leveled up. Here comes the Ju-52 that's going to hopefully drop the uh, the crate if it doesn't die. Um, this, this game really determined my childhood for quite a bit. So, okay, right now we have another crate. If you see in the top left, we research something important, apparently. Uh, let's see if we can get some heavy paratroopers, but I'm actually not going to call them in because I think these three squads can easily t handle this stuff. You're, you're going to see the flat guns fire at the uh, Ju-52. Pretty sure it's going to be able to live through this though. Let's see, there's some team speak stuff on the background. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a supply drop. And we're going to quickly see if we can buy... Yes, we can buy an airfield truck. going to buy two airfield trucks so we can start the bombing campaign soon. Okay, right now... 
there's a this is gun, thing is going to die. As you can see, it's going to have 10 damage every couple of seconds. But right now, my squads are resupplying in this green area, so they're getting their uh, units healed. They're getting like their their people healed that aren't there. Uh, I don't know where this squad isn't healing up. Oh, there you are. Okay, they were just out of supply for a little bit. Okay, so now they're in supply. You see, you can see I'm getting more units uh, every time there's another one. So we're just gonna wait for this uh, thing to uh, fall in line and then start the attack on the. Come on, please, for supply, for supply before we get there. Oh, okay, we just didn't get resupply because there was only another attack, but I'm pretty sure that right now. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna attack these so we can hold and capture the airfield for ourselves. Make sure we destroy the AAA guns. And then you can see the different objectives on the map. Maybe it was. I'm not sure. Oh, I pressed the wrong button apparently. That was my bad. I pressed O. Apparently, O is route. Yes, it is. Okay, that was my fault. Okay, so we got ourselves a, a headquarters truck, which basically is the same kind of building as this is, but then in vehicle, like in a vehicle way. Every vehicle, everything you buy comes in a vehicle way, like ammo depot truck, oil depot truck, etc., etc. That's just ways, like you know, on how to keep this stuff high. Because every time you build something, this is gonna like de de subtract or detract. Um, I think it's stuff track right from that little thing which we don't want because we want to have more than negative So we're gonna build an Infantry division headquarters, which will allow me to buy Infantry squads like you know riflemen, uh, you know kind of stuff like that So right now the crate when it dies It's not really matter because the headquarters truck bone itself already delivers a zone of supply So this if as soon as this thing goes down, it's gonna shrink a little bit, but not a big problem uh, airfield trucks are coming soon. This With this upgrade, it means that it's going to be even more, uh, more room for uh, the zone of zone of supply is going to expand even a little bit more. Let's see if it's no, oh, it's not done yet. But this crate's about to die. Gonna lose a little bit of the zone of supply, but it's all right. Okay, I'm gonna move the truck, which will allow me to field. Let's just put these guys in a in a group. Which will allow me to build other units right now, including engineers. We can set up field field defenses. I can set up. I can build. You know, even Goliath squads. I'm gonna build one engineer regiment. So they're gonna make sure that I cannot be attacked from the rear. Now this area, as of course, there's no one there. But we do want to get some defenses again from, like you know, from the attacks again that, in that area. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna try and clear the town a little bit with these three infantry, these paratrooper squads, I should say. Here it is. Here's the first engineer squad. It's ready. In the meantime, I did get one airfield truck ready, which basically is just going to allow me to put an airfield down on this island, which would be which is a pretty good idea because this air this area is actually unreachable for the um, enemy in this game. I just need to. Is there no way to put this truck down? If there isn't, then I might have to to delete it. All right. That is uh, okay. I'm just gonna delete it then if I can't get anything. Also here we can toggle off or on escorts. Escorts means that the fighters on the airbase will try to protect the um, the bombers on their missions. Bombing missions cost money. Recon missions cost money. I'll just recon this area with a BF-109. As you can see it's taking off right now. It's a BF-109 E3. I'm gonna wait and see what happens here. Okay, so it's it's under attack. That's all right. It's just a uh, flight because um, planes that got shut down will be like you know renewed for free. Okay, so we have seen that Kani or Kania is um, is not super heavily defended. Another infantry squad or another paratrooper squad just got a level. This one is about to get a level as you can see right there. It's gonna get a level right now. Here we go. Uh, the way to capture a town is to eliminate all resistance around the town. Um, that way you can uh, look, capture for yourself, which will in turn increase your zone of supply. The range will grow because, you know, in towns that are friendly to you, you will also be able to resupply your units, which means you just you have to go, you have to retreat less. Okay, so we capture the town. We're going to be shooting down the little bit of flak that's left around the area. 
Uh, we just want to clear as much as possible before we uh, move up. Building a bunker here with a machine gun in it to cover that route. We're going to start building a half-track uh, mechanized headquarters, which basically means I can buy like some half-track uh, squads, etc., etc. Now, if we kill this, there we go. Also worth noting, uh, if you buy something, you'll see that the, uh, there's an upkeep cost. Uh, same goes for you know, oil and the ammo. There's also an upkeep cost, which just means that this is going to go down. Which, of course, you want to keep as high as possible, if you can. Right now, uh, I got some upkeep, actually, because I bought one of these trucks, which basically means... Um, these these like factories will allow you to like get more money, but they also cost you building limit uh, spots, which of course just means that um, you can only build this this amount of buildings or that amount of units. So just to be sure against any target, whatever we're just gonna oh that's a uh, ah, that's not a bad position. We'll just put that there. We cleared that anti air force battery or anti air battery. Gonna slowly move down the road here. Uh, let's see what how our fighters are doing. That's a lot of money to spend on that. We're oh, gonna get some anchor supercharges because that is very that's a very big upgrade. Twenty five percent to a maximum speed is just very decent. As soon as that's done, we're going to send in. Oh, I think she wants to attack that. As soon as that is done, we're going to send in a scout and see what's in uh, the town of Suda. See what's going on over there. We have our half-track building ready here. So now, uh, as you can see, there's not every unit is available. There's an open spot here, and I think you can also buy another unit. But of course, it's like the very first mission, so they don't want to give you like everything. There's also a tank factory which you can get like um, in other missions. Shut up, Kesselring. Okay, uh, let's see. So we have all of those buildings. Right now, I'm just going to uh, try and kill as much things as possible without getting, well, too much losses. So I can just save my money up. I lost the town of Kenya, so apparently there is some infantry around there. Now we're gonna do the radar scan. Okay, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about six or seven, maybe eight units on the field right now. Of course, the longer I give them, the bigger this will grow. So right now we're just going to see if we can capture back Kania or Kania while we attack this infantry regiment. Of course, uh, there's like all kinds of bonus. They have been entrenched, as you can, which is indicated by these things, which you can see the bonuses to it. It's actually quite a good. It's a lot of bonus, but of course, free squads will make short work of any infantry squad, as you can see here. All we need to do now is maybe is make sure to finish them off because if you don't finish off a squad, all the, the enemy has to do is run it back to like you know a zone of supply, which for your, the British, which we're fighting, that actually this actually is a zone of supply, so they get the units replenished for free. As you can see, they have been healing up a little bit more. Now we have the town. All we need to do is try to kill the squad before it runs back home. There's only one guy left. We have to kill that guy because this, this one guy surviving could mean the survival of his entire squad and I would have to kill nine guys all over again. So now we're going to... No, he's running away. So now right now we're going to try and kill this other inventory squad. This guy's already getting more supplies as you can see. So we have to be fast. There's another squad moving in. Infantry still doing all right. What I'd like to do personally is buy a bomber and just bomb the hell out of like squads that are still alive. Because a bomb, a bomber will make short work of infantry squads. Right now we're going to just fall back, run back and uh, kind of see that as a negative positive thing. I could have, I could have done better, but that was alright. Here it goes in 112 with the fighter escort. Now we're just going to click the escort button once and see the fighters move back, which is really cool. And then press the fighter escort button again, which will launch two more B109. So right now, we're going to try it. There we go. The 1112 just bumped the hell out of that squad. Now all we have to do, that, that did cost 100 uh, money, 100, um, actually it is 100, it just, it's called 100 money. That costed 100 money, but it was definitely worth it because now we uh, killed one of their squads. Which basically means that that squad cannot get replenished for free. Right now, my guys are replenishing, and we should be able to push a little bit forward again. I'm going to get a uh, half track regiment, which will allow me to run down infantry squads that are trying to run away, of course, because half tracks are faster than infantry. Now we're going to see if we can take out this squad. I've got a bomber on standby just to make sure if they survive, I will be able to kill them now. He's going to run away in a second. 
Hopefully we can kill this last guy with the free squads. There's of course another entire squad coming back. One of the squads who already killed before. Pretty much except for like one or two guys but right now. There's not a lot of space left to run. But now being attacked from the bottom. So we're going to send two of these squads to attack this one. Have this squad attack that one. The danger now is I have to mop up this squad quickly. Then go after the other squads before they are replenished. And they will fight my, well, heavily damaged squads. So right now this squad is going to get annihilated. And we're going to again run back. And actually, no, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna run back, get a, uh, get the bombers ready, because next time I'll just target both of those squads, or I could actually send in the uh, half tracks as a backup force, which will allow me to run the enemy down in case they start running away. Now, as you can see, it costs 15 fuel to build one of these. It costs like you know more and more for better units. Um, we're also going to get a... I'm not sure if we're going to check it out live. We're going to get one infantry squad just for the heck of it to defend this little area. Probably there's not going to be a lot over there, but I do like to keep it defended. Uh, right now we're going to attack this uh, squad. Ow, pimp slapped the mic again. I need to get used to this mic. Uh, we're going to attack this squad now. Hopefully be able to run it down with the half tracks. If not... We have, let's see, we have the, no, one of the squads upgraded, that's really good. Another squad moving in. Hopefully we can kill one of these with the combined forwards of half tracks and, um, oh, 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 okay. Uh, that's a mechanized infantry section, which basically means it has one tank, two half tracks, and a couple of infantry soldiers. Now, this this combination is pretty deadly, uh, it's fast, the paratroopers are very well trained, they have a lot of good guns at their disposal. All we have to do now is to quickly double bomb. There we go. Okay, I double bombed the mechanized infantry thing, which basically means it's got it cost me 200 man, uh, 200 money, but I will be able to uh, finish off the uh, formation if I quickly take out the AAA, which I cannot take out the AAA out, which kind of saddens me. Also, if a fighter escort uh, f like finds. Um, Stuff like AAA batteries, the fighter escort will peel off and attack the fighter, or it will attack the uh, AA batteries, which is really cool. Hopefully, you'll see that right here. There should be strafing the AAA right now. That guy's gonna try and turn around and strafe it. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, doesn't do a lot of damage. Still, there we go. The entire the mechanized infantry squad is dead. Exactly what I wanted to see. My squad here is fighting. Uh, they're all kind of, you know, in the street, doing nothing really. Uh, hopefully, we can move up a little bit more, but they're all kind of stuck. Hopefully, okay, nice. Okay, so now, because I captured a new zone of supply, I can. Oh, let me move this guy up here. Because we captured the zone of supply, we are. It's now in, uh, in our ability to resupply here, which just means I can. I don't have to, you know, pull way back to like this point. There's no re reason why I should like make anything here, because as you can see, there's like it's just a dead end. We're going to send this infantry squad, make sure there's nothing there, and then have these engineers uh, start building some defenses up here, so they're not going to capture the town without, you know, at least taking out the bunker. Meantime, squads are all ready. Going to drop uh, two heavy airborne squads right here, which is going to look cool, and just, you know, cool. <laughs> In the meantime, we're going to let some points rack up. This is only used when you would lose all your headquarters trucks and don't really need that, like, ever. Uh, this one is going to be really useful, as you can see, just a big V1 rocket. Although right now, we're just going to target the bunker right there. Get a couple of these upgrades and target that bunker right there with the bombers, while the uh, fighters will hopefully fly escort for the bombers. Now we have a little attack on our hand, it's an AT squad, which isn't going to do much to my airborns, uh, but here we go. Here's the 252 dropping the heavy, er, heavy infantry with two heavy machine gunners and a mortar unit, which is going to be really useful. I'm going to put that to number two or number three, and we're going to use the heavy airborne as a secondary line. There we go, we have the heavy airborne in that line as well. And resupply my units a little bit and then we're going to move up to number two 
We need to wreck these up. All right, because the objectives are capture one. I've done that. Capture four wasn't necessary, but I still done it. So you know, it just includes increases my supplies. Um, capture and hold number two and three is probably the main objective that you need to complete in the end. So there's nothing here. We're just going to put these guys back here so they can scout that rat out. And we're going to quickly attack this infantry squad, hopefully annihilate them, use our heavy mortars. As you can see, the mortar is setting up, firing. It just stopped setting up because these squads are running away. The half tracks will be able to finish off the squad, hopefully just in time before he reaches a new supply and he gets replenished. Uh, we're going to peel these off and we're going to peel these off to attack the heavy anti-aircraft battery. Hope oh, he's actually running away quite fast. I'm surprised. These guys will probably still be able to run some of these down. I can do a scan. As you can see, there's a couple units coming here. There's nothing really over there. The bunker that I heavily damaged in the, with the bombers now proves to be an easier target for my infantry and half tracks. While we attack the infantry force, the bunker is now destroyed. There's more reinforcements coming, but it's not a big problem because I can send. Oh, that's actually that is actually is an issue that's coming right there. Might have to send a bomber right there to that infant to this. Oh, that's okay. That's a mortar team. That's not really going to do a lot of damage. Uh, should be all for it. Should be all right. Going to take these out. Hopefully. No, guys, don't die, please. Okay, we did. All are also alive. Just need to make sure these guys don't die. Going to have them attack this one. We're going to have to uh, have these two heavy air infantry to take out the mortar. Uh, half track squad. Luckily, though, we have a bomber coming in as well, which will annihilate them from above, while the airborne infantry will annihilate them, annihilate them from the ground. We're going to run these here, drop a zone of supply so they can quickly get some health back. Run these up here while still under bombardment from the planes. These will be annihilated by my squads as well. There we go. Just need the bomber to come back once. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Almost okay. So this one is almost dead. I'll just have the half tracks run back, kill the last remaining artillery piece or artillery half track, and there we go. Okay, there's another tra thing coming in right there. We're going to let that go and have those be handled by the squads of infantry right here. Go to call forward our engineers and build some bunkers at this location so they can they don't sneak past me anymore. It comes to the Junker 52 with some resupplies to resupply the squads that have lost men or whatever. Now we should be able to kill this in this uh, formation with the tanks. Building a bunker right there. These will probably go down way before. Yeah, they're gonna run away. Just need to make sure that this mechanized angry squad stays down and doesn't get replenished. Luckily, they're gonna run right into my trap and they have seen that coming. I'm going to send these right there as soon as the squad is down. It's going to go down right here if the truck doesn't run away. He's starting to run away. He has, he's pretty low in morale, as you could see. He's like, he's um, about to kill the guy. If he, oh, he's running away. All right. Right now, we're going to attack the anti-tank anti squad with those regiments. We're going to attack the bunker with that regiment. That should be a quick, fast kill. All we have to worry about is this route and this route right now, which will be cleared uh, pretty fast, hopefully. I'm going to put the squad down here so they can scout that out. The bunker is being built. It's almost done. Build another bunker right here. I'll have these guys replenish in the area right there. And I'll just have these attack that area. Oh, no, actually, I'll have these attack that building. Have the half track sit back here. And we're just going to let this play out for a little bit. We're going to buy another... No, actually, I'm, I think I'm alright. I shouldn't really need to buy anything. Right now, we're just going to uh, hopefully have our bunkers do uh, some defensive work. Get uh, a lot of defense set up, you know, get this set up here. Um, and in the meanwhile... Ah, I don't really need to bomb the ship whatsoever. That's a waste of money. Just going to let these finish off the defenses. I got another HQ truck, which you don't really need. You know, it's more than welcome to get some extra supplies because I mean, the zone supplies gonna run out as soon as this this crate runs down. So now we're going to get the bunker down here. Uh, bunkers aren't really supposed to kill anyone. It's just there to you know um, see if an enemy is coming or not. In my eyes, so we're gonna have these go down here. 
We're going to call out another uh, heavy airborne infantry squad over here. It's going to make the total number of three. We're going to call our units forward to this intersection kind of idea. And then... Can we... We can... We should be able to move up right here. And our paratroopers will uh, be a little bit behind the lines, but it's alright, we can move them up soon. I'm going to start building uh, two infantry squads, actually one, and I'll build an anti-tank infantry squad to attack from here. I'll give them a half, uh, make a nice infantry squad to back them up, which I will, then I will attack this area from north, uh, which, uh, from the, <laughs> I don't know if that's, I'll just call this area north. I'll attack it from the east or west. Sorry, my apologies. From the west, from the north, and from the air. As soon as my um, bombers are ready, and I've scattered some more of the area. So we're gonna run these paratroopers over there. As soon as they're around on the ground, they're gonna start running air. I'm gonna save this one up. Uh, I'm gonna set in a scout over here. I'm going to make these one. A Panzer II. It's going to make these fully resupplied, and then we're going to move them over here. Play they'll yeah, they'll easily get that in time. Okay, so these are going to just um, move over there and attack from that side. In the meanwhile, I just push back these heavily. Uh, we're also going to keep a zone of supply, which is very important in this game. I'm going to buy a couple of these trucks, which only cost 25 money, or whatever you like to call it, but the game calls it money, so that's what I will call it. And with that, we're going to uh, be able to... Oh, what is this? There we go. With that, we're going to be able to extend this green line, or zone of supply, or whatever you want to call it. And we should be able to bomb these factories and we should be able to go on no be stuck and uh, if I just move that further along it means that I can I don't have to pull my infantry or my units back as far as I should have shoot right now because like if they get damaged right here I have like these guys are damaged right now I have to pull them back into the green lines which I it's kind of annoying so right now I'm just gonna pull up um, my green line with building these which is just like some sort of an extension or an extender or whatever you want to call it basically just going to allow me to see there we go that's extending the thing by quite a lot every time so i'm going to build at least one or two more of these so i don't have to like you know pull back too far when i get my stuff damaged bombers are coming in and in the meantime here's also one of these this one of the squads this is going to be number four they're going to be grouped and set up like that uh, can i get this thing there we go I'm gonna get this one back here. Some Panzer Shreks in there. It should say here what it is, actually. I think the guns will say what it is right there. Panzer Shrek, there you go. Okay, so we're slowly sending these forward, uh, of course, under cover of units while. This should actually be stopped. No, 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 stop, halt. Okay, this will easily go down. I just destroyed one of their ammo depots. There goes another one. Got two more trucks that will help me in the battle for Crete. Hopefully I said it's right that it's Crete. Hopefully I said that right. Okay, so these are going to go into move here. It's going to move here. It's going to move there. It's going to sit right here so we can give us more supply. Gonna move these just further forward into enemy territory. Well, hopefully being able to take out some more stuff down the road. I'm gonna wait for I have the V1. I'm only 300 points away from getting the V1, which is a quite powerful weapon if used correctly, and it can take out like or in the, or easily heavy damage a lot of buildings. So we're gonna move up on the left side uh, or the west side. I'm gonna move them up down over to here. Oh, that was a bad button. Okay, they're gonna go right there, so I just need to put this guy right there. And put the other one right here. Now, as you can see, they're attacking again. Luckily, though, I have a quite a sizable force of six paratrooper squads and a half-track squad or force. Uh, they're all luckily attacking. 
Now all we need is just a uh, big attack on one of them so we can force all of our fire on one unit, hopefully take it down, and then just force one of these trucks to move the line forward and forward and more forward. Move the engineers forward a little bit more. No, don't go there, please. These just need to go here. And we're going to get another bombing run onto the headquarters. And while we do that, we're going to quickly, hopefully take out one of these squads. Maybe not. If not, we're just going to sit here. No, oh, come on, guys. Oh, no. Okay, that's an issue. Run them back. And once we supply these before I get, like, heavily damaged, the, the heavy paratroopers can take some of the fighting. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. All right, we might have to build some defenses back here and lure them into the defenses. We're just going to have to keep them back for a while. Um... Hopefully we can get these back. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to get these back. They're routing right now, which means that I cannot control where they're running. They're basically running towards there, which is not too bad of a place. Okay, I'm on a heavy attack, which is an issue. Right now, I could just attack from the left side, though, which is uh, interesting to do. Um, I'm under a mortar. Oh, the artillery is moving away. And I will be able to... There we go. Okay, we just need to make sure that I have some defense back here. If they if they become too strong, I can always, you know, just push uh, or fall back and hopefully they'll run into my uh, my uh, my stuff. So right now, I'm bombing their headquarters and fighting them over here. I'll send two of these to go there. I'll send these to just go forward. I'll have my truck ready. I have my truck set up over there. Well, these are all replenished and well. And now, they're, now they have to now they have to focus on two sides, and I'm gonna just attack straight forward. V1 uh, hopefully will kill these units, in a, which is gonna be super powerful. There we go. They're all down, which was very useful. Pretty much killed like a quarter or more more or more of their force, which is very useful. I'm gonna sit right here, resupply. Hopefully, cut off this unit. Come on, cut them off, 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 cut them down. Come on, get them, get them, get them. Just need to make sure that these were not going to get back anytime soon. One, almost, come on, almost. Get them. Okay, I, I got them. Now we just need to fall back. Hopefully, okay. The thing is though, I lost, I forgot, or it's kind of too lazy to do this. I'm just, oh crap, that's actually pretty bad. Okay, I lost one of the squads, so I lost a mechanized squad. That's right, I'm just going to pull these back to... Uh, let's see if I can make these all four, yep. Just going to move these right here so they can resupply with the crate behind them. In the meanwhile, these are just going to attack. I might have to pull these back right behind there. Well, this truck is going to easily run into my units and be taken out. As you can see, it seemed like this was going to be super easy, but they do give up a good, they do make a quite a good fight. Uh, I should be alright, hopefully. The V11 attack was very useful and definitely saved my my ass. This truck is just on a suicide YOLO run. Hopefully it's going to get taken out by the, by the guns and by the engineers right this there. Yep. So now we just need to control. make sure... These are pretty much max level. Yeah, they're elite, they're max level. Which is quite nice, because they give so much, you can see, big bonuses, even to health and to attack value. Even morale gets a boost. Just gonna wait for this to uh, roll up a little bit more. Go forward. And then we can send in these to attack from the other side as soon as this one is replenished. There we go. This infantry squad should be easy to kill. I'm going to start dropping some more bombs on some more of these buildings which will just weaken them for my initial for my further attacks now we just make need to make sure to finish these off as soon as possible we cannot give them any more time because you can see they're gonna crank out units like it's the, like there's no tomorrow so we need to finish them off really quickly I don't want to spend more time on building more units and you know get at risk getting uh, need to finish them off right now because you just need to focus fire only pull back when I really have to and especially don't attack them like that. That's just dumb. Kill that motor pool truck or engineer brigade truck. Okay, now we're going to run back. 
because they are heavily damaged. I did do some damage to them, which is really good. How long is this good crit going to stay alive? I do need to get right way back here. Going to get the bombers. Oh, they're on their way. I cannot kill this building right now. I'm going to buy another... I'm going to buy Goliath. Nah, that's probably not a good idea. Hopefully get these healed up a little bit before I'm under attack. No, 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 no. Run. This is heavily damaged, which is really good. And we want that to be as damaged as possible, of course. It's almost down. Um, just needs these to be replenished. Get these guys out of there before they are going to be attacked again. Or they are getting attacked. It's kind of annoying. Luckily, these are just getting still getting replenished. Their morales are getting back. The crate right here is... Uh, just giving them their resupplies. Hopefully, I can kill these right now because I do need to finish start finishing them off because they're just getting more and more free supplies. Of course, for uh, you know that's because they're in their base area and they'll get free supplies and it's gonna be an endless battle. So we need to now just push on, kill this big building which is almost dead. Like it just needs like one shot. As soon as that's dead, come on, kill it. Nice. Okay, there we go. They cannot build any more units or build uh, trucks anymore before they get. Uh, they need to get one of those again. Hopefully, right now we can do a lot of damage. We're attacking them on two flanks again. Do need to finish this off before they run away. Right now, I'm just gonna let them go loose, kill these buildings first so that they can do damage. Kill these buildings since they're easy to kill. Get these out of here because the town will still resupply them, which is a big issue actually. We have a couple of uh, half rate units left. They will be annihilated in a, in a little bit. We're gonna get number one to attack this. We're gonna get number two to attack that. We're gonna get number three to actually help them out right here before they get annihilated. Number one will pressurize that. Number two needs to pressurize this as well. Okay, we need to have four run like super way back before they get annihilated. Come on, babies. Oh, I think we got it. Because I've completed all the primary objectives. There we go. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you appreciate this little childhood comeback memory thing, stroll down memory lane idea. <laughs> and um, if you want to see more of this, I'll gladly do more. I think the multiplayer is kind of dead. I'll also show you guys some of the World War II, um, like, you know, the mode I explained earlier, which basically is like the kind of risk gameplay, because it's very cool, very awesome, and it just is a totally different game from what I just showed you right now. Uh, but yeah, make sure to comment stuff in the comment section, which of course that's what the comment section is for. Let me know whether you like this video or not, whether you like this game, or maybe even played this game. And uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to click the link in the description to see the funny, uh, or not see the funny, see the artwork of the video, or the artwork of the game that actually made me to buy this game in the end. I've been to the shop where I was going to buy the game about two, three, three weeks in a row, pretty much every day, looking at the game. Am I going to buy this? Am I going to buy this? Because, you know, back then, like, no money income, because I was like... 11 or 12 it was really hard like am i gonna am i gonna drop like 70 bucks on a game or not and it was totally worth it anyway i'm rumbling on for way too long hope you appreciated this i sure love playing this again and showing you guys a good time hopefully hope to see you in the next one this is sherman ciao for now